Arena Web, thank you for your response. Um, you said you were going to make one, so I went looking for it. Good video. A um, couple of issues, though. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but you seem to be implying that um, if we do not base our ethical decisions upon guilt, then ethical decisions will not be made. Well, I disagree with that. Um, it seems to you seem to say that, say, if we didn't feel guilty about things like, I think you mentioned, slavery and rape, um, then there's a good chance that such things would never have been seen to be um, unacceptable. <laughs> um, well, I don't think that guilt had as much to do with the abolition of slavery as a lot of people seem to think. And I don't think that guilt is the biggest um, reason why people do not commit rape. <laughs> uh, and I would say that actually if we're going to rely on these things to, uh, on guilt, to keep us, shall we say, safe from things like um, rape and slavery, we're in trouble because they're not going to do the job. Uh, good example, say, of slavery. Um, Slavery was not abolished due to guilt. Um, there were any number of reasons why slavery was abolished, but guilt wasn't one of them. Uh, it was originally attacked in the Roman Empire based upon the idea that all human beings are equal, or the, all they would have said all men are equal, <laughs> uh, at least before God, and that there shouldn't be slaves, and that uh, a slave sort of his existence or her existence is just as valid as a king's in the eyes of God. Okay, well, then you decide that you're going to create a mass market for something called sugar, and you require it, and so you have to come up with a good reason why you're going to have people enslaved to produce the stuff. Um, oh, they're black. They're not fully human. Therefore, we can do it. In other words, slavery is bad, but there are extenuating circumstances, so we'll just take that guilt that we normally feel and put it aside. Or we'll take that consideration that we have for other people and we'll put it aside because these aren't fully human beings. Well, then we abolish slavery again. Uh, American Civil War, Wilberforce, etc. Okay. Slavery reappears. It reappears with a vengeance soon after the Russian Revolution of 1917 uh, with the Gulag, with five year plans. Stalin basically enslaved his entire country. Then along comes. Adolf Hitler, and he quite blatantly says, we're going to enslave everybody, except us Germans. Um, because, you see, uh, Stalin said that there are people who are not fully human beings. Those people over there, those kulaks, those uh, enemies of the people, have uh, consciously abrogated their rights to be treated as human beings, therefore it is okay to enslave them. Th their own sense of slavery, their own enslavement, is their own fault. They're guilty. They are guilty of something, therefore we are correct to pack them off to Colima, to um, work in the gold mines there until they die, uh, because they are bad people. Guilt actually ends up recoiling upon itself, and it's used as a mechanism to propagate bad things in the world, because we're only going to do bad things to people who deserve it. There's another angle to guilt other than guilty conscience, and that is the imposition of guilt, and that is putting guilt onto people. Scapegoating. Scapegoating enabled all kinds of horrors in the 20th century to take place, and they were all um, facilitated, not stopped by guilt. So I don't really think that guilt really is as useful as you seem to make it out to be. And secondly, you seem to imply at least, I'm, you know, I forget the exact quote, let me see if I can find it here. Um, it's very early in your video uh, where you said, um, if we don't feel guilty or something along that line, uh, we won't change what we are. Uh, that's, no, I'm not saying that at all. Um, what I'm saying is our default position is not something that we should be ashamed of. That's all. We are what we are. 
If I look at myself in the mirror and I see a human being, I should not want to spit at the, mi the mirror. Because I am what I am and I can't be judged simply for being what I am. It doesn't make any sense. I can't be other than what I am. Now, does that mean that I'm not going to change what I see in the mirror? No. Because instead of seeing something that I hate and that I want to alter, I look in the mirror and I see potential. I see a lot of flaws, but ooh, what could I become if I sought to improve myself? Rather than motivating myself through guilt, which is ultimately, if you ask me, self-hatred or self-repulsion or self-disgust, I will improve myself do, uh, out of a desire to be something better. Um, the carrot as opposed to the stick. Guilt is the stick. Self-improvement is the carrot. There are any number of reasons why we may have abolished slavery. Guilt, maybe. Economic necessity, perhaps. Shame. Um, simple love. <laughs> um, I don't want to live in a world where I could actually feel good about the fact that my fellow human beings are just as likely to have a good life as I am, um, because I actually, well, how they feel actually matters to me. Um, I want them to be happy. It's not that I feel guilty about the fact that they're shackled and chained and brutalized and everything like that. It's just I would actually feel better if they weren't. It's not that I would be, um, I'd feel better simply because I would remove my guilty conscience. It's, I would get a positive benefit of a world full of happy people to buttress my own happiness, my own sense of well-being. Um, you read Uncle Tom's Cabin, the, the novel that apparently ignited the Civil War, the American Civil War, and that's kind of the thinking behind all of that, too. It, there's a lot of guilt in that novel, but there's also a lot of love. Um, people don't seem to think that a desire for something good is as potent a motivation as a fear of something bad. But I think that it is. I think that we just don't recognize it, but that doesn't alter the fact that the desire to improve is just as powerful a motivating force as the desire to escape punishment. Um, we're going to talk about rape, I suppose. I didn't bring it up, but a lot of people bring that one into it as sort of the ultimate evil thing that you can do, and I don't dispute that. Um, but I'll put it this way. If it was simply guilt that prevented us from raping other people, or a fear of punishment, I believe that there would be a lot more rape. <laughs> um, what's the first thing that a woman learns when she goes to bed with a man, and what she learns about him, not so much about herself, but about him. If the woman is enjoying the act of having sex, it magnifies the male's pleasure. Um, I'm not going to say that that's true in all cases. I'm sure that there are plenty of people out there who like to use things like handcuffs to enhance their pleasure. But by and large, when a woman is energetic, when she moans in pleasure, when she laughs when she does all kinds of things to indicate that she is thrown into a euphoria of sexual rapture, that adds to the man's pleasure. That's why, proverbially, the, as the joke goes, that's why women fake orgasms, because they think men care. Well, it, it actually is. Men actually do care. Um, and it actually does add to the male's pleasure. Um, so, if you want to have sex, if that's your motivation for sex, is to get pleasure, um, most people, or at least a critical mass of people, think that a woman squealing and moaning in pleasure beneath them is a lot more of a turn-on than a woman screaming for her life. Um, guilt doesn't factor into it. It's what I actually want when I leap into bed with a woman. I want fun, I want pleasure, I want happiness. 
Um, raping her is not the sort of thing that's going to give me any pleasure, so I don't do it. <laughs> uh, it's not going to add to, to the overall uh, value of the experience. So I don't think that negative reinforcement is the reason why we avoid bad things. I think it, or at least it's not in all cases. I'd say that in enough cases, in a critical mass of cases, the desire for the good is what we seek when we do the right thing. Just wanted to make that clear. It's a good video. Thank you.